Hey guys, I'm Andrea Renee, and you're watching Bracelet Break. Cata? Like a Cadillac. Like a Cadillac. Yeah. Like you forget. Cata. Hey all dudes, I'm Dre Renee. This is Bracelet Break. This is Joe oh, Cata. Like Cadillac. I know it's so easy and simple. Winner of the 3K 2018 bracelet, third bracelet, yeah? Yeah, it sounds nice actually. 2009 WSOP winner. Darwin Moon needs a queen or a oh jack, God. or Joe Cata will be oh the God. main event champ. And that seven wins. Poker history, becoming the youngest main event champ ever. So, of course, obvious question, how did it feel? I told you you were going to ask that. Uh, well, I wasn't, and then you said that, so now I'm asking you. It felt you. like crap, I mean. How did it feel I was like going crap? for second. Obviously. It no, it felt good. It felt, it felt great. I mean, I haven't really been playing much poker. I just, this is like Not my first, playing poker. It's like, I've been playing for so long, and it's like, I don't need to play so it's like I just right. wanted like a break you know I just wanted to like step away because I just been so like in golf and poker my whole life basically what have you life. been doing since you weren't playing uh, tra uh took some vacations uh hang out with family friends uh, my dad I, I go play poker with him once a week uh he had oh, a stroke that's... and oh my uh, God. he's in a wheelchair Sorry. yeah so uh so he's actually playing the seniors and the super seniors. So this whole last year, I've been you know going over there once a week and teaching him. He's really stoked about it. He's coming out. So he loves poker as well. Yeah, he loves poker. I would say I just played with friends growing up, and then like, like family, I guess, my like my older brother, and um, just it was popular in school. Yeah. Like especially when MoneyMaker won, it became real big. Yeah, I love him. Hey, Chris. And uh, <laughs> that was the thing. You, after school, you go hang out at your friend's house, play you know poker with nine guys, yeah. and. I seemed like I was winning more times than not. And then I started giving online a try and you know, it was back and forth for a while until I started actually getting good. And what advice would you give to someone just starting out in poker? It's what they want to do for a career. What would you tell them? Uh, I think the biggest thing is uh, like you need to have a poker bankroll. Like okay. so like say say I win a tournament, I don't wanna rely on that tournament for living expenses and to live and but you wanna have a job and then at the same time build your poker your bankroll. I didn't quit my bus. My I was a bus boy for three and a half years. I didn't quit my bus boy job, so I, I made over 150 grand. And what do you love most about poker? Like, is it still exciting to you? Yeah, I think I think the un, unknowns of it and uh, just the strategy and the logic of trying to figure out you know a problem. It's like a puzzle. Yeah. But you know, there's, there's money involved. So. And then last, most important question: Who's your favorite massage therapist? Drea. <laughs> No, that is not true. What do you mean? Erica. You're the first one I said hello to you. Oh. Don't tell Erica, that's why, I mean, you weren't around, so I am going to sell for Erica. Well, I will take it. I'm just joking. <laughs> well, this is Bracelet Break, this is Joe Cata, and I'm Drea Renee.